You know, our planet can be absolutely breathtaking if you know where to look. From Greenland's green waves to deserts glowing like molten gold, the planet looks like living art. But there's something even better than knowing what to look for. It's knowing where to look from. For example, from a few hundred miles above the ground, where satellites are. So you can see faces in deserts, hearts in sand, spirals, skulls, and mirror lakes flashing sunlight straight back into space. These are some of the weirdest things you can see from space. In the middle of the Sahara Desert, Satellites once caught sight of something meant to scare visitors from outer space. It's a colossal skull staring right up at the sky. Its hollow eye sockets, long nose ridge, and cracked outline looked eerily human, almost as if something enormous had been fossilized beneath the sand. The photo spread quickly online, with people wondering if it could be the remains of an ancient giant, a lost monument or even evidence of a civilization swallowed by the desert ages ago. But in this case, the truth is climactic. The skull is no fossil or ruin. It's the remains of an ancient volcanic pit carved out by a massive eruption hundreds of thousands of years ago. Over time, relentless desert winds carved away the softer layers of rock while the tougher ones held firm, leaving behind ridges, pits, and hollows. When sunlight hits it just right, those shadows fall perfectly into place, completing the illusion of a face. Down in the Namib Desert, there's an incredible natural wonder. Fairy circles. Roughly circular, bare patches in the grasslands. From above, it looks like a perfect circle cut into the sandy landscape, surrounded by shimmering golden dunes. Some people thought it might be an ancient crater, or even a ritual site hidden by shifting sands. Others guessed it could be the mark of a long-extinct lake, or a meteorite that fell millions of years ago. But the real explanation might be even more fascinating. The formation lies in a region famous for fairy circles – thousands of mysterious round patches scattered across Namibia. For decades, no one knew what caused them. Then, researchers discovered the patterns seemed to emerge naturally, shaped by wind, roots, and even termite colonies competing for scarce water. Over time, these small circles can merge into larger perfect rings, like the ones satellites now call the heart of the desert. The desert is a sight to behold on the ground, but from space, the sheer size of it will make you pause. In the heart of the Canadian Badlands, Satellites can see a formation that strikingly resembles a human face, seemingly resting sideways in the soil. This quirky landmark is called the Badlands Guardian by locals. The coincidence is also great. Imagine if you could see a guy wearing a Roman helmet while looking at Italy from space. The contours create what appears to be a forehead, an eye, a nose, and even lips. Some folks amusingly assist that they can see a pair of headphones resting in the ear. For years, people speculated about its origin, pondering whether it was an ancient artifact or a colossal sculpture hidden beneath the surface. However, unless we are proven otherwise, we must believe that the Guardian is actually a natural formation, shaped by the relentless forces of wind and rain over millennia. But the headphones are real. Okay, that's a joke. They're simply a road in an oil well pad, constructed long after nature had woven this artwork. Now, what makes this illusion even cooler is the play of sunlight. Depending on the angle, shadows play around in the gullies and ridges, making the face look almost real. It's an amazing natural effect, a mix of light and erosion. You could say it's our brain's knack for seeing faces everywhere. But come on, just look at it! Near Egypt's Red Sea coast, satellites once revealed something that looked almost too perfect to be natural – a massive spiral design carved into the desert floor. Thousands of sand mounds and depressions arranged in hypnotic precision, stretching wider than a city block. Well, let's speculate. It could be something left after visitors from other planets, or maybe a forgotten symbol from an ancient civilization. Now theories spread fast. Some said it might be a secret military installation or a message meant for the skies. 
Others wondered if it was another one of those unexplained desert geoglyphs, like the Nazca Lines in Peru. But when artists came forward, the mystery got solved. It's a bit anticlimactic. The spirals turned out to be part of Desert Breath, a massive art installation built back in 1997 by three artists who wanted to make something that could only be fully seen from above. Over 1 million square feet of sand were sculpted into smooth cones and hollows, designed to slowly fade away over time as wind reclaimed the land. Ironically, that's exactly why it still fools people today. From orbit, the desert's light and shadows preserve its shape perfectly, making it look brand new every time the sun hits it. It's one of those rare creations where art, time, and nature work together. The pattern is still mesmerizing, and if visitors came from above, they'd be sure to admire it, baffled as we were. Meanwhile, far out on the coastal plains of Peru, satellites reveal something absolutely unbelievable. Etched into the desert are enormous figures. From the ground, you can't see them properly, but from above, they turn into another large-scale art. There's a hummingbird, a monkey, and probably the most famous of them all, a spider. The eight-legged creature is so perfectly drawn, it looks like it's crawling across the earth. The spider alone spans about 150 feet from leg to leg, and what's strange is that it matches a species found deep in the Amazon rainforest hundreds of miles away. So, how could people 2,000 years ago know what it looked like so clearly and carve it into the ground with that kind of precision? Well, theories flooded in. Some claimed the lines were messages to deities watching from the heavens. Others thought they might mark the paths of underground waters or serve as ritual sites to call for rain. But the leading explanation today is both clever and beautiful. The Nazca people scraped away the dark gravel coating the desert to expose lighter soil beneath, creating enormous white outlines that have survived for centuries thanks to the desert's dry, windless climate. The Nazca lines were never meant to be seen from the ground, at least not by wingless humans. But now we have satellites, and it's breathtaking. Now over in China's Gobi Desert, satellites once captured a series of bizarre geometric patterns etched into the sand. Huge grids, bright white lines, and cross-hatching that go on for miles. When they first popped up on Google Earth, they went viral. People thought they were looking at gigantic runways, coded symbols, or even the remnants of a lost civilization. Some even speculated they might be a message meant for visitors from space. Well, eventually, experts figured out that those massive lines were actually satellite calibration targets used by China to check the accuracy of their military and remote sensing satellites. Those bright white patterns reflect sunlight really well, helping instruments measure distance, focus, and orientation from way up in orbit. The shapes are really large. Some are over a mile wide and set up in perfect right angles that would impress any perfectionist. They're made for cameras thousands of miles above, not for human eyes. From the ground, they just look like stretches of gravel and stone. But from space, they turn into some of the most precise targets ever created by people. There's more, but that's for some other video. For example, the Eye of the Sahara in Mauritania, a massive 25-mile-wide spiral that looks like a portal burned into the desert. Or the boiling Danakil Depression in Ethiopia glowing in neon golds and greens like it's from another planet entirely. It's kind of cool that you can observe works of art just by zooming in a bit, like it's all just a matter of perspective. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.